I feel that, it, again, it, it's a beautiful place. I, I feel it, it, physically it's a beautiful place, but historically the Cuba that my parents lived in, it was probably even more beautiful than it is today. Um, just the architecture and the scenery and the way people are. We, we were raised here in a place where they're trying to keep those traditions alive and all the holidays and the birthdays and the family unity, like Tony said. And I think living in a, that small island, there was so much more of that that here in, in this country because of the days we, the, the lives we live and we're so busy and running in and out. Like over there it was, I don't know, it, from what my understanding is, more stress-free. It was more, more importance on your values and your family and, and all that was important, but it was secondary. And here there's kind of like a twist it's and a change rushed. and it's too, too rushed, rushed and you know, three months might go by and I haven't even called my grandmother. Well, that may have never happened, you know, living in she Cuba. Would've, she would have not no, let she, it happen. No, she probably would have lived down the street from me or something. <laughs> but, you know, you just, it was a different lifestyle. And um, I think if the day we ever go back and visit, it'll be sad, but but beautiful at the same time. You, you brought up a good point that, well, if we do go back now, it's definitely see. not the same... Place. You know, because I, I, you know, like I would like to go back just to see where my dad grew up and where he went to school and all that good stuff. And and I'm sure maybe the building will physically be there, but unfortunately the because life. of Castro and wow. what's happened in the island, you know, it, it might be there, the building, but it's going to be destroyed or the architecture is not going to be kept up. So it's definitely going to be a lot different than from what my, our parents would remember. It's a memory. I don't think it, you can ever go back to that. Too many years have gone by, too many things have happened, so it will always now just be a memory that I hope we can then transfer to our children in some way so they can yeah. keep the tradition going. My parents in particular, they've been here in the States for 45 years. And like my father said, you know, he's, he'll die loving that island nation, but, you know, he's sweat and he's bled so much here that his home is here now. You know, he'd go back to visit and things like that. But, you know, it, it, maybe 25 years ago, my parent, my dad, and my mom, they would be more of a cut, cutthroat, maybe more straight line towards Castro and all that. But 45 years have gone by. They've, they've Americanized some, and I've Cubanized some, and we kind of reach a, a happy middle. You know, it's, it's not a, a direct black or white thing. You know, they've definitely lost, I think, a bit of, not love for the island, but, you know, they've lost some of that... That hope? Hope, maybe, you know, that, that you know, that that they'll be back and stuff like that. Oh, they, they left always thinking that it was just temporary, that they were right. going to go back soon. Right. But unfortunately, it hasn't transpired, so... But I think it's like a, a happy middle there. You know, they've Americanized, and, and, and we've been brought up feeling very much part of the Cuban culture. So we, we've like reached our own melting pot there in the middle.